Good morning my crafting friends and welcome to Hunky Dory TV. My name's Dan. I'll be your host for the hour. Uh, it, it's 10 a.m. It's Monday morning. It's time for the craft show. I love this show. Uh, we have two great shows, Monday and Friday, that bookend the week. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Um, today I am not alone. No, of course. Uh, we have Emily producing the show. Say good morning, Emily. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. And of course we have a superstar at the uh, demonstration station today. It is my friend Rachel. Good morning, Rachel. How are you? Yeah. Rachel, that is a humongous smile. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Yeah, I'm very well. Thank Good. You. Did you have a lovely weekend? Yeah, yeah, it was really nice. What did you yeah. do? We went for a couple of walks. Oh, lovely. Went to the house, did the ironing. Boo. <laughs> but it, it's been really nice weather, so... It has. It was all right, wasn't it? How about you? How did um, you similar sort of thing. We, did, we took the little puppy dog for a walk, oh. which was lovely. Um, if I need to sit down at any point, uh, please do forgive me because Deborah had a brilliant idea and it's called Couch to 5K. Oh, so, oh yes, oh yes. I don't know, guys at home, let us know in the comments. Have you done this Couch to 5K thing? I thought I was relatively fit. I get on a bike, I go for a bike ride, I can do 100 miles, I can do loads, great. Running is really hard work. It's terrible. She put us straight on to week five because we're fit and healthy and we can manage this. Week five. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. There was far too much running. Knees aching. No good. But um, yeah, apart from that, lovely weekend. Weather was good. I think it's going to start getting a bit tricky though. We're looking like the, um, like the, the rain's coming in, isn't it? Oh, mm. yes. It's October, it's autumnal, but uh, we're here hopefully to brighten your day. Um, okay, should we take a look at what is coming up on today's show? Here we go. On today's show today, guys, we've got a brand new Win It Weekly, and it's a Moonstone die we're looking to win this week, which I don't think we've ever done before, have we, Moonstone die? I think it might be the first time. And today's show is all about this. It's all about brilliant products back in stock, things that have been completely out of stock at some point in the last month or two, but are now back in stock. Um, there's been an amazing amount of products brought back into stock and we're gonna show you some of the real special ones today. Uh, we're gonna have some back-to-back -back demos with our friend Rachel and we're going to take a look at the Hunky Dory headlines and then we'll also take a look at the TV schedule for the week and see what's going on. Um, Natalie is going to be on TV, I should tell you this first, at 10.30 this morning on Create and Craft uh, with a brand new launch. So um, if you want to pop across to Create and Craft at 10.30, you're more than welcome. I know people have Create and Craft on one and yeah. us on the other, don't they? Yeah. One on TV, one on a laptop, one on a, on a ah, everyone's watching everything. Hachanda's on, way! <laughs> if it's craft, it's good. That's all we're saying. Um, okay, Win It Weekly, let's take a look. So I was just being, someone's mic's a bit crackly. Oh, is it? Is it my, is it, ah, uh, Rach, if you move your, your, yeah, that's perfect. It might be too close, yeah, there we go. Now win it weekly. Now win it weekly. Sorry about crackly mics, guys. Uh, here we go. This is this week's Win It Weekly. I haven't seen the question yet. Uh, it used to be that we used to write the question, so whoever was presenting the show would write the question. But now Emily writes the questions because um, uh, we sort of knew what it was and it's a surprise to us this. So I'm excited to see what it is this week. Uh, our question this week, to be in with a chance of winning one of five of our festive foliage Moonstone dies worth £19.99 each. There will be five winners. Here's what we'd like to know. I have to lean forward because the eyes are going. Um, like, share and comment. Can you guess the sound? Emily, that's new. Ooh, very new. That's new. I've not seen this before. Um, we'd like you to like uh, our video, if you will. We'd really appreciate it. We'd like you to share our video, if you will. We'd really appreciate it. We'd like you to comment, and you have to comment. You have to get this right. So, can you guess the sound? Comment with your answer. Good luck. Are you ready to play the sound, Emily? Yep. Let's go. <laughs> What's that? What's that? That's really strange. Can we play that again, Emily? <laughs> what is it? Have you any idea? Now that is a sound, I, I can tell what that is, I know what that is, um, and we hear it quite a bit here, don't we Emily? Yeah, we do. We do hear it quite a bit here, but do you know what that sound is? That's tricky. This is the first Guess the Sound we've ever had on Win It Weekly. Um, do you know what that is, Rachel? No, I have no idea. You don't? You no. don't? 
I do know that's, what that is. That's very exciting. Okay. Um, guys, please do let us know in the comment and what we're going to do in the comment, in the comments. And what we're going to do is we get on Friday at uh, 10 a.m. We're going to give away five of these, five people who get the answer right. If there are five people who get the answer right this week, Emily, because that is we'll, tricky. We'll give them clues during the week. There will be clues during the week. And I think the clues will probably depend on how well you guys are doing as to whether you've picked it up or not. Um, okay, so shall we jump into our first back in stock product? And I think one of the absolute key, most important products that we've launched this year. It's awesome. It's all sorts of awesome. Here we go, guys. This is now back in stock. Isn't it brilliant? This is our Christmas like no other topper set. This has been out of stock for ages, but we've brought it back because we've, um, by popular request, we've been asked and asked and asked. I'm sorry for opening this, make a bit of noise there, but um, we've been asked and asked and asked for this uh, because it was completely out of stock. It is now back in stock and available. The uh, what we do when we put things back in stock, uh, obviously as we as we're assembling them or making them making them up, they go into stock on the on the website. Uh, just the number that we've assembled, and a few were assembled over the weekend. They went in stock and out of stock almost instantly. They were in there for about two hours. So if you've seen it out of stock again over this weekend, it's not out of stock anymore. It's in stock. Isn't it incredible? So this is the fantastic Highland cattle uh, and the Highland cattle pair of Highland cattle together. His and hers at the bottom there. Uh, it was part of our Christmas blockbuster this year, but it went out of stock very, very soon. People were buying multiples and multiples of this. So there were people were buying 10 at a time because they liked it so much. And they were making cards for you know, multiple people with the, same, uh, with the same topper set. It's absolutely lovely. It's got holographic foil. So you can see it really catches the light. It's so, so brilliant. What a great piece of kit. Uh, this topper set, make at least two cards. You get your card stock with it. Two sheets of car stock, including those fantastic island cattle there. Isn't it fun? Isn't it different? Do you like that one, Rach? Yeah, I think that one's true. It's funny, isn't it? I like Very it. Smart. I like it a lot. Something else that I know that, that I saw just before. Now, I don't believe that we have the, the, the code for this, but if you love that Highland Cattle and you want him to be part of your life, if you want to take him home, adore him, we will only sell him to people who promise to look after him, of course. Um, then you can get this fabulous stamp set, which is the For the Love of Stamps Highland Cattle set. The code on here is FTLS648 for anyone that wants it. Oh, you have got it on the screen, that's good. Let me just show you a couple of cards that were made with this because this is brilliant. Isn't that super? Love, obviously, the, anything to do with rainbow sort of colours is yeah. really in, isn't it? But, but that's so much fun. I think Isn't our uh, design, external design team made these. This was uh, Jessica Farrah yeah, did this one. Congratulations. Yeah, she good. called it Rainbow Cow. And you can absolutely <laughs> see rainbow. why. There you go. Look at that. That's the, the flower in her hair. And the flower comes on the stamp set there. So you get that flower on there as well. Okay. And I love Moo as well, which is fun. <laughs> Uh, brilliant. Heard it was your birthday. A lovely tartan paper in the background really works with that as well. Look at this. Heard it's your birthday again. Isn't it great? There's so many different ways to use this, but it is an upside down cows as well. Upside down cows count as well, they do. I love Moo, isn't that brilliant? Sorry, Dan, there's no problem with this, your mic. It's my mic, is it? Yeah, it's a crackling sound. It's, it's my mic? Yeah. I do apologize if it's my mic, guys. So I should do my best not to move if at all possible. Uh, and we can move across to Rachel while we try and fix it as well, if you like. Um, do you need me to? Popping sounds. Okay, I'm sorry guys, if we've got some slight technical sound issues, um, Emily will be able to listen in, work out, establish exactly what that is and we can get that fixed for you. It wasn't doing it in the test beforehand, so, but these technical things, they do these sort of things, yeah. don't they? It's a bit of a pain. Uh, okay, we'll jump on to something else that has been really popular with us this year, has been out of stock on the website for a couple of months and is now back in stock. Uh, it's our It's a Dog's Life. We also have, of course, where there's dogs, there have to be cats. We have It's a Cat's Life as well. So in our Picture Perfect pads, you get multiple different sizes of imagery. And the imagery in this is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, are you a dog person? Um, or are you a cat person? I don't know. Or are you a neither? No, you... I, I, think, I think both. Like, uh, dogs you can take for walks. This is true? They do, they do. Look at that. 
Isn't that gorgeous? Bring in, bring in your paper for you. Um, beautiful. And there's some lovely words as well, you see. So explaining, so Cocker Spaniels and about Cocker Spaniels and so on. Um, we've, got, we've got loads of different dogs in here, which is beautiful. Sorry, I'm not doing a great job of holding this up here. There's a Schnauzer, very cute. Uh, with the slipper, which I'm sure if you have a Schnauzer, you know that's how it works. Uh, they chew anything. My, my Raf chews anything. He's a right little pain. <laughs> He's called Raphael, my dog. He's very cute. He's a Havanese. I don't think we've got a Havanese in here, but we do have lots and lots and lots of other dogs. Look at that, so cute, so cute. The artwork here is really, really beautiful. All of these sheets can simply be, be cut out of the, the page without a problem, matted onto Miri. If you'll see yourself here, that, and that's probably where that, where that uh, tartan paper came, yeah. came from before. Uh, no, I think the tartan paper on them cards, there was a backing stamp. Oh, was there? Yeah. I oh. Think but if you see here, all these sheets are double-sided, so you're getting beautiful paper that coordinates as well. And as you can see, this border here coordinates perfectly with this, this sheet here, so it's lovely. Isn't this gorgeous, guys? If you love your dogs, 48 sheets in here, double-sided paper pad, beautiful. We also have, of course, the cats. Uh, and this is what you're going to demonstrate first, isn't it, I do yeah. believe. Uh, we'll just take a quick look and look at this. Oh, so cute. I, lo I love kittens. Kittens are beautiful, aren't they? So this is really good quality board as well. I can feel it. So it, it must be at least 150 GSM, this. It's uncoated board. So if you want to get in there with your, with your stamps, you're more than welcome. You can do. And of course, you've got those, uh, the, the paper, coordinating papers of backgrounds as well, um, as you can see above. But isn't the artwork just stunning? Beautifully drawn, beautifully um, coloured. That is a little scamp, that one there with the mouse. Little pest. Look at this. And you get multiple sheets of each, which is brilliant. So uh, it means that you can decoupage them up should you choose to. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? Right, let's jump across to Rachel and we'll see if we can fix my microphone at the same time. Right, so I'm going to do a card using the Siamese cat. Um, so I've cut my card blank down to six by eight. And then we're just going to cut out. I'm going to use three sheets. So I'm just going to turn this one over. I'm just going to cut this to six inches. And that will be for the background. Then I'm going to cut out the different caps in here. And then I'm going to mask them onto black card. Measure the black card two notches above the four, and then two notches above the six. So that looks like uncoated black card, then, isn't yes, it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, which it's a great little collection that way. You get the you get all the different cards that you can stamp onto nicely. The, the sort of uncoated colours. Black's really cool. I think it really works with yeah. these these pads as well. Yeah, it does, and it makes them like pop out a bit. So I'm just gonna make down two square ones with a little square compass. I think we might have lost your microphone here, Rach. Ooh. Carry on if you can. Don't make a noise again. <laughs> right. Nope. Guys, sorry if we've got slight uh, <laughs> issues with, with the microphones, we do apologise. It's a right pain when we get technical issues with the mics. Very, very seldom happens, but can do occasionally. Um, you keep going, Rachel, and I will, I will, I will tell people what you're <laughs> up to. Uh, if you tell me, I shall so tell people. I'm going to cut out the two cats. No, it's not. Oh, it's muted there. Right, let's just see if that works. Sorry, guys. Okay, we're back on. We're back, back on. on. Yeah. We do apologise. Right, so I'm just going to cut cut the two cats from the bottom, and they're going to go at the bottom left. And then we're just going to build it up a bit by cutting out some more layers. Yeah, 
Yeah, I love Siamese cats. They're so they're elegant, aren't they? They are. My um, my husband's parents has a Siamese cat. Do they? Yeah, she's she's really tiny though. She's uh, she's called Maisie, but she's such a pain. She's so cute, but she, she brings in everything from the oh, garden. Oh, she does. <laughs> yeah. Rupert does that when it's windy for some reason. Really? I don't know why. Yeah, oh, but only whether when it's windy, which is oh, really wow. weird. Oh, wow. That is very strange. Okay, we're both back now. Guys, we really do apologise for that. Um, so I, I think it turned itself off in Rachel's pocket somehow. It's so probably my um, Is it your album? album? Right, so, okay, you can be careful then. Don't worry. <laughs> um, we do apologise, guys, and thank you for bearing with us. Aren't these super, these, uh, these Siamese cats? They're brilliant. They are. Is there anyone out there who has a Siamese cat? I know we all like the look of them, but is there anyone who has them? It would be great to hear from you. Or, or do you have cats? I know we've, we've talked about this before as to whether people are cat people or dog people, or indeed both, and lots of people have fur babies from bo of both types. Uh, but if you have a cat, what colour cat do you have? Rupert, we have a cat called Rupert. He's, uh, he's a beautiful grey. He's lovely. He looks like he would be sort of a pedigree. You know, he's really, really yeah. attractive. Um, but he was like the, they call it the runt of the litter, which sounds terrible, oh, doesn't it? But he, was, he was like the little one that nobody wanted. Um, you like it, like the, 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 um, the, the ugly, what, the swan, there's a swan, it's the ugly duckling, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Who turns into a swan, Rupert's like that. Um, oh. Yeah, and he's, he's just, he's become beautiful. Would you have any more? Um, this is a really tricky question. I don't want to bring have people, I don't want to bring people down on a Monday morning, but <laughs> it's tricky when they leave you, isn't it? Oh yeah, Does that make yeah, sense? yeah, definitely. Um, and I don't know whether you know. I, yeah, we we had we had a cat called Mark. Oh again, I don't want to bring people down on a Monday. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Anybody, if you want a, a touch of depression, just come and visit me on a Monday morning. I'll sort you out, guys. We have a little cat called Mark, and he's um, he was black and white, absolutely beautiful. Uh, and and yeah, he came in one morning and he was falling all over the place, and, and he'd, oh, been, no. he'd, he'd been drinking antifreeze, I believe. Oh, so um, oh, yeah, dear. that was poor, poor Mark. So my fair baby's twenty years old. Twenty oh. years old. Yeah. What's your fair baby called? Pepsi. Pepsi. Good morning, Pepsi. If you're watching us, if you're here today with us. <laughs> Jealous about the Siamese that Emily is spending time with. Naughty M. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to stick this background paper onto here. Okay, now because you get multiple sheets, because you look at that and you think, no, oh, yeah. what are you doing, Rachel? I know. There are multiple sheets of each, so you can afford to do this. Um, you really can. And obviously, if Rachel had time, she'd probably be... Uh, they use the word gutting, which is horrible, but you'd be but taking the yeah, centre out, wouldn't well, you, and, and it, saving it. If I would have thought about it, on the back, you there's two little, there's like a little strip at the bottom. If I could it properly, I would have saved two little images. It's that kind of problem. Yeah, okay. The Crackling is back, I think, guys, I'm afraid. So something's not quite right here, but we will we will sort that out. You'll be able to swap um we'll be able to swap Rachel's mic out in a little while. Um okay. I'm pretty sure it's Rachel's. Right, we will sort it. We do apologise. Viv Nichols had a cat called Bertie who is a silver tabby. Uh, they are lovely, aren't they? Amanda Speller has a white cat with black patches called Spock. Aww. I've had him 11 years. He lived next door to me and they left him behind. Oh, so no. we took him in. Spock. <laughs> Spock. <laughs> I like Spock. Spock's a lovely name, isn't it? Um, staffy person, African grey parrot lover as Anita. Mm. She had them in South Africa but had to leave them behind when they relocated. Very sad. Oh. The rental doesn't allow pets, unfortunately. It's a shame that, isn't it? Yeah, that is a shame. Jan's got two cats and a dog. That's greedy. That's greedy. <laughs> That's three. Uh, Jeanette's fur baby is watching the show with her, which is Aww. cute. Um, and Nikki's got two dogs and a ferret, and why not? And why not? My friend used to have a pigeon as pet. Really? <laughs> yeah. They, it, it got run over, um, oh. and they, they found it in the road, and they took it home. Like, didn't think it was going to make it, but then it, it pulled through. And Did it? And they kept it in the house. And it just used to just run around. It didn't want to like, go out or anything. They didn't, you know, keep it just for himself. But yeah, he was, was so cute. And they used to have some parrots. And they used to like go and talk to the parrot. I think we need to. Sorry, guys. We're just going to do a little bit of technical playing around for a second. 
Um, and we're just going to try and sort this. See if that goes there, if that helps it in any way. Okay, hopefully that fixes it. We shall see. People will let us know whether we our mics are working properly or not. <laughs> Again, we apologise, guys. It happens very, very seldom. When it does, it could be interference, it could be anything, there could be something going on outside, we don't know. It's very tricky. Say something for us, Rach. Hello. She's not there at all, <laughs> is she? No. Okay, guys, we'll carry on, we'll carry on. So Shelley Whitehead's got four cats and a dog. <laughs> wow, look at this, Claire Edwards has got ordinary domestic cats, a brindle one and a Bengal cross. Her daughter's got Maine Coons. Maine Coons, Maine Coons. Mm. Um, been around cats all her life. Have had an, Al an Alsatian and a Welsh Border Collie. Wow. That's a lot of pets. All sounds good, guys. So it might be okay. Are we really, really sorry about the, the, the mic things? It's a right pain. And you're, you're, being, you're being ever so good uh, bearing with us through it. And with, fingers crossed that that's sorted now. Um, okay, so you've got some decoupage pads on there? Yeah, so I've layered up the two... Um, small toppers and also the cats that I've cut out and I've also cut the cats from the larger topper so they're just going to go on top okay and then I've also cut the one cat out and he's going to go on top of that so again you, you can just trim these out so this is because yeah. they're quite easy they're quite large oh, they're you can trim easy. yeah there's no yeah. it's not difficult to trim out um, fussy cutting doesn't have to be too fussy does it no it doesn't no you could have I mean you don't have to even do layers like they they stand out quite well as on their own I like it um I did have some gems have you lost your gems oh ah, there we go <laughs> hiding Right, I'm just going to put some gems on. I'm going to use the middle ones. Middle size, there. so that's the three millimetre, because there's two, three and four millimetre uh, gemstones there, aren't there? And I'm just going to put some on the side here as well. I like how it looks like the Siamese cat on the right hand side is sat on the, on the other Siamese cat's head. I like that <laughs> a lot, I think it's fun. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, he does. <laughs> All right, and there you go. That's very nice. Well done. So that goes to show how easy it is to pop a card together with those wonderful yeah. Picture Perfect pads. And you get, in that Picture Perfect pad, you get different sized images. So you can see there's some of the smaller ones there, but some of the larger ones as well, which is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I really like what you've done there. Well done, Rachel. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Are you getting ready for, for your next little thing? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's jump on and see what else we have back in stock on our website. If you were lucky enough to grab our Weekend Wonder this weekend, which was our screw hole punch with the free punch it pad, or indeed if you have the screw hole punch at home already, uh, this is perfect for you. This has been out of stock for ages on the website, but we have got it back in. Um, 144, let me show you here, 144 sheets strips uh, in a lovely mix of adorable scorable and miri card that are perfect for use either with punching uh, for punching or indeed for tag punching punches or creating tags so you get 144 strips and they are perfectly sized for our tag punches that we'll show you in a minute uh, you have one and a half inch strips you have two inch strips and the other one was two and a half was it rachel mm. the other one is two yeah, and a half or oh, yeah. is it three no, it's a, on the tag punches, there's some grooves, so you can slot the strip straight into there and ah, then it puts it in the middle. That sounds brilliant. Well, we'll take a look at those. So guys, these are back in stock on the website, only £9.99 for that chunk um, of strips. Right. Two things that are back in stock. We'll show you the first one. This hasn't gone out of stock, but it relates to the other two. Um, this is our banner punch, so our tag banner punch, and it's perfect for creating tags at any of those sizes that we just talked about. So your one and a half inch, your two inch, and your two and a half inch. It's got a really large, easy to use lever up at the top here and creates those banners in the three different sizes, as we said. And they can be of any length at all and also give you a lovely forked 
tail detail. So it'll cut through to at least 250, 300 GSM stock, which is fantastic. Go through all the mirror, goes through your, goes through your adorable scoreable. Yeah. Well, that's 350 GSM. So that shows that what it says on the back here is telling porkies because it says 250 there. Okay. Um, obviously, it teaches you how to do a little bit of instructions. So that is a more simple banner punch at 14.99. Back in stock, we have the other two punches. Here we go, uh, which are absolutely brilliant. Fancy Edge Tag Punch is the first one that we've got, um, and uh, that's gonna give you a nice fancy edge. You've also got the Straight Edge Tag Punch. So, we'll do Straight Edge first, because we, we're just looking at it, which is that one, if we can get it right, there we go. So that is gonna give you this straight, three straight edges around your tag. And it's going to it's going to put that hole in it as well. So you're going to be able to create all your Christmas card tags with this punch. If you'd like to create slightly fancier tags, here you go. Can you see that there's a lovely sort of arched effect in there, um, kind of a baroque effect, isn't there? Now these are craft tools. They're quite substantial craft tools, as you can imagine. Uh, and they, you know, th these are just going to punch and punch and punch. The mechanism inside is fantastic. Um, so, should we just take a nip across to Rachel and you yeah. can show us how they work, is that okay? Yes, yeah, so I'll do the two and a half inch first. So, all what you do is you've got the little grooves. Oh no, it is three inch, sorry Dan. Is it three inch? Yeah, <laughs> it is. And then you just push it down. And then out it comes. And then all what you'll need to do is just... Right, so our those. tag punch is a three inch. Uh, sorry, the, the tag strips punch. Are the strips three, are three inches. inches. The tag punch does. Yeah. So that yeah. gives you the opportunity to do whatever you want with them size wise. And then if you just cut that and, and that end. So the larger okay. one you trim off, but the uh, the smaller ones, do you want to do some of the yep. smaller ones? Think they should. So then we've got. So this one is two inch. So again, just push it down. And then you've got your tag. And so, do the banner one as well. So you could actually use both of them, and if you turn it round, then you could have it so that you've got the tails at the bottom as well. It's a really nice sounding effect, isn't oh, it? Oh, it is. It's so satisfying. And then you've got your little ones, which is one and a half inch. A bit nice little bookmark. They do, yeah. And you can do like a like bunting. Yeah, They're perfect for, for sentiments, for creating, the, yeah. like, you know, for popping sentiments on and putting onto your card. So you can actually craft yeah. with these as well in that style. Yeah. Yeah, bookmarks. Um, yeah, Scrapbooking. Scrapbooking's brilliant for them. I, I mean, I, I love scrapbooking and I always use tags to write little journal stuff down. It's really easy to do. And then that one is decorative, was it? That's, That's the fancy the edge, yeah. Fancy yeah. edge. Fancy edge one. Isn't that lovely? We like that very, very much. Right, so we're going to go over to Newsy Muck News Reader for the Hunky Dory headlines. Good morning and welcome to the Hunky Dory headlines. My name is Newsy Muck News Reader. On Hunky Dory TV this week, there will be three shows for you, starting the week with The Craft Show and our good friend Rachel Jones showcasing some great back-in-stock products. Wednesday the 21st of October, there is a live launch with Natalie and the Everlasting Memories Collection. And on Friday at 10am, it's Thank Craft It's Friday, where we will see the launch of something very special for all you club members. Can you guess what it is yet? News just in, of a hen who has learned how to count her own eggs. Scientists have called her a mathema chicken. <laughs> and of an explosion at a French cheese factory. The factory manager says that thankfully no one was harmed, but debris was everywhere. <laughs> Stock updates, amazing work at Hunky Dory this last week where over 100 products were brought back into stock by Sam and her team. Too many to mention, but those looking for the Made for Men decoupage <coughs> pad, it's back in stock, as is printable crafting card and those fabulous punch strips. And big news here today, the Christmas like no other Highland Cattle Topper set is now back in stock. I do like that one, it's rather amusing. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. In other news, a man who didn't think wearing orthopaedic shoes would help his limp. 
Doctors say he now stands corrected. <laughs> Creating Craft TV, a new launch to show you, to tell you about. Right now, right this minute, we have Natalie Musprat on Creating Craft Television with a new Everlasting Memories launch. Natalie will be back this uh, back today at 4:30 this afternoon. If you miss this, or if you carry on watching us, it's up to you. It's up to you, really. <laughs> the mics are terrible. The jokes are terrible. I don't, know, I don't really know what we're doing. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm just, stay with us, we're ace. Make sure you catch it. Now it is time for our thought of the week. Why do pizzas come in a square box made of circles and eaten as triangles? <laughs> <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> crazy. <laughs> We're all crazy. <laughs> That's the end of the Hunky Dory headlines. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for being with us. <laughs>
Back in stock again, guys, we've got shapes. Again, we, if we'd have thought this through, we would have, we would have had some of these pre, um, pre-colored because again, you're seeing just white sheets of paper. If I promise you that there's butterflies on here and there's flowers on here and they look stunning, um, I tell you what, Jump can I, will, will you again, if I, if I get those across to you, you absolute star, thank you so much. So um, nip across to Rachel and we'll have a look at what she does. There right, we go, there so you go. can see there's flowers on there. And there's some little ones, and then there's the butterflies. So those flowers can be layered up as well, on top of each other, which is beautiful. Uh, the butterflies you can do the same sort of thing with, but again, all of these are die cut. You press them straight out of their backing sheet. Can you see how many elements for £4.99? £4 these are great. 448 elements. You get sort of, because of the, um, the semi-translucency of the of the foil, you get sort of a pearly effect yeah. to it, don't you? Yeah, they are really lovely. Which and you is can really do pretty. whatever quilly you want as well. Um, okay, do we have the 8x8 clear foil pad? Yes, we do. Hey, it's like we've done it before. <laughs> um, clear volume, oh my, we're in the same position, aren't we? Look, look at this. <laughs> this is awesome, guys. You've got to get it home. Um, yes. We, we fib with that one, it's just white. It's just I'm a white. I'm gonna do a demo with it. You're gonna do a so demo with it, that's brilliant. That. I'll tell you what, if we show that, they're the designs that are in it. 36 sheets, uh, and you get all those designs in it. Again, perfect for your backgrounds. You add that color, you can you can make these, make really quite, quite fabulous um, cards in no time with it. I like that, I like it a lot. We have, last thing, an A5 card block. Ooh, that's tasty as well. There we go. So again, you've got this beautiful resistant reveal. Guys, strongly suggest you jump on the website uh, to, because you'll be able to see more of what you actually get in this rather than just white sheets that we show you on, on here. <laughs> should be some sentiment. Let's go, are there, are there, yeah, let's go. Well, under, underneath the eight Sentiment white. pad. I couldn't see it because it was white. Everything was white. <laughs> Everything was white. I was That's blinded. <laughs> I was blinded. It wasn't my fault. Um, sentiment pad. Right, now, okay, now this makes sense, right? Because you know our fabulous essential books of sentiments. So we do one for every year, the 2021, I think it's gone now. 2019 one all when, 2021, I think it's gone. 2020 Matt Tassi one, I think it's gone. If they wow. haven't gone, they were down to like tens in stock. There was almost nothing left. Um, 650, say over, over 650 sentiments in here, but with Resist and Reveal, so you can make them match mm. your, uh, your card or your project. Yeah perfectly just with a bit of a uh, bit of ink isn't that awesome okay still in stock guys or back in stock guys grab them while you can rachel right so i'm going to do a five by seven card and we're going to use the eight by eight pad we're going to use the large alphabet and a sentiment i'm also going to use a tag punch so first of all i'm going to cut the eight by eight sheet down to four times two inches and I'm going to cut three of them. Shelley Alden says, imagine the rude things you could print for a customer to reveal. <laughs> <laughs> she knows us well, doesn't oh. she, at Onkidori? It's the kind of cheeky trick we would do. Um, it, it's actually not the worst idea. They can't be too rude though. It'd have to be a bit of innuendo maybe. Tasteful. Ta tastefully rude. Guys, stick with us. If you, um, some, so if you remember, Natalie is on Create and Craft as we speak right now with the uh, with that lovely Everlasting Memories launch. Uh, we'll be able to show you that in a couple of days' time. It'll be quite exciting. Mm. Right. So I've just used the tag punch to cut the tops of them. Now I'm going to take my inks and I'm going to use pink jelly bean. So I had a great question here, Rachel. Ooh. Do you get more letters like E or the letters that get used uh, more often? And the answer is yes. So I'm, I apologize if your name begins with Z uh, because there aren't <laughs> as many Zs as there are Es, but yes, you get more Es. So uh, the, the alphabet was analyzed and, uh, and the correct number uh, or ratio, if that makes sense, uh, of vowels to consonants and so on and so forth was used, which is good. You get some uh, the um, lowercase and um, uppercase with the circle one. Ah, you do with the circles. That's good. Yeah, but this is brilliant. So some of these are some of them are the resistant reveal. Some of them are just large format 
um, die cut letters, which is brilliant. So if you don't have that die cutting machine with all this, or indeed if you want something larger format, these are these are absolutely perfect for you. But I think that price is an absolute steal. Yeah, I think it's brilliant. Four ninety nine is is excellent. All right, so I'm just gonna layer up this. So it goes from light pink to dark pink. Okay, I'm just going to do the last one down at the bottom. It just shows how easy it is to add they a colour to. and they look so good and you can use any colour. And you it's, can ombre that as well if yeah, you want to, which it. is what, you could, what you're looking at there, yeah, which is great. Yeah, or you could use just one colour. But isn't that brilliant? It's just so fast and so easy and looks so professional. It's really, really good. Uh, we've been asked if we've got eight by eight craft bags. We do, whether they're in stock or not, I shall double check. Um, will you be able to check for us, Emily, about the eight by eight craft bags? That would be wonderful. Right, so now I'm just gonna take the large letters and I'm going to put mum on this. Right, I'm only just now really being able to catch up with the um, with what people are saying with regards to the the sound. This is going to be tricky this week, isn't it? With regards to the Win It Weekly, yeah. and, and what it's, this is going to be really, really tricky. So uh, we shall see. We shall see. We'll see whether we can give a clue or two later Ooh. on. Ooh. All right. So I'm just going to push out the other M. And that's going to go on there. So how, what will you stick them down with then? Um, I'm going to use construction glue. Um, now you can use like foam pads or anything like that. But I think you I'm just going to... use gonna, tape or yeah. tape runners, I guess. So it's any kind of adhesive really yeah, that you're happy with. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. But it needs to be something that will be happy to stick on Stick on to the ink. Oh, what was it? Um, we, were, we were on last week. I can't remember if it was, you, if it was yourself or it was Natalie. I think it was Nat when um, we... We were sticking something straight onto something that had been inked but hadn't oh, dried and yeah. it wouldn't quite stick. Yeah. So it, it does depend, doesn't it? On but I mean, what I normally do is if you you can put, put foam pads on and if you put a little bit of like wet glue on top, then it, it does stick. Now, obviously, it would take a bit to dry, but then you can stick foam pads to yeah. the ink. So at home, obviously, you guys get a little bit more time with this, but you can see how effective that is already. So we're going to stick these on with foam pads to the card. So I'm just going to put my foam pads on the back. Lynn said that she got an email yesterday showing the new club gift, but she's disappointed that she's already got it. Um, Lynn, uh, there is the, that's the, I'm guessing will be the old club gift. Uh, the new club gift has not launched yet, although there was a rumour that News Newsreader just told us about something fa fantastic happening Friday. <laughs> uh, when will the water pen trios be back in stock, Tracy? It's still a couple of months away, I'm afraid. I really do apologise for that. Oh, that's my oh. phone <laughs> talking to me. Right, so I'm just going to wrap some ribbon round these. Now I've got three different shades of pink so I've got a light one a medium and a darker one so they're going to just go up and there and then we're going to put a sentiment at the bottom as well just wrap that round and just take the foam pads off Oh, okay, it says that it says people are telling us we're only finding out in real time that Natalie seems to have um, seems to have disappeared oh, no. from TV, which doesn't make any sense. So I don't know whether they've had to go to to tape for something. Which something sometimes, if they have a problem in the studio, they have to do that sometimes. She might have fell asleep. <laughs> Is that what happened? You think? <laughs> she always says about the early shows. Natalie likes to stay in bed. <laughs> She's uh, yeah, it's true, yeah, yeah. It's the, the early shows are really early. Oh though, yeah, craft. yeah, they are. And then they have to get up even earlier than the show start. Right. So just gonna put that one there, and then the U in the middle. That's lovely. And then I'm just going to ink a sentiment. So there's some on the sheets that are just like happy birthday without any mom, dad, brother. So we're just going to just ink this one that says happy birthday. We've just had someone saying that uh, they love your voice, Rachel, because it's very calming. Aww. It's true. <laughs> uh, it was Jackie. 
It's a lovely. I, I, I really like your accent. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> isn't it strange how people can be can be not so keen on their on their yeah. own accent? But I think your accent's lovely. Oh, thank you. <laughs> right. So I'm just going to cut down the foam pad. I like the ombre on this. I think it's really nice. I like the fact that you've got the three different coloured ribbons on there. I think it really suits. That's a look. That's a lovely, lovely card. And then I think I'm just going to finish it off with some gems because you can't have too many gems. So I'm going to stick to like the different shades of the pink. So we're going to have a medium, um, not a medium, a lighter colour, and a medium and a darker colour. And I'm just going to put some on that side as well. Mm. Yeah, of course. Um, if you're American, it could be M O M. The O's are in there as well. Well, actually, um, I used to spell mom M O M. Did you? Yeah, every oh, one of my friends do it. Well, I, I, I don't know, I but everyone right, from yeah. Birmingham that I know spells M O M. Do they really? Yeah. I, I really like that. Thank I think you. that's lovely, and it's quite simple to make, but. You yeah. haven't had to do all the hard work of of the of getting that resist and reveal yeah, there. Because you could do that with embossing powder, couldn't you? Yeah, you but could. But it would take you ages. ages. And you could do it with like dad, son, nan, yeah, anything like that. Very good. I like it very much. Very much. Thank you very much, Rachel. Okay, guys, uh, I want to remind you of our Win It Weekly competition. So, uh, you are in with a chance of winning something that I've lost. There we go. <laughs> and I've found it again. There are five of these festive foliage moonstone cutting dies worth £19.99 each. We're giving away five of them on Friday. To be in with a chance of winning, and uh, as Emily said, we will give you clues throughout the week as to what this is. It's the first time ever that we've done a sound. We've recorded a sound and we'd like to know uh, what you think it is. And if you get the sound right, you are in with a chance of winning. And at the moment, it looks like if you get the sound right, you might win all five of them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because it's quite tricky. Okay, so can you guess the sound? Comment with your answer. Good luck. Okay, what is that? It sounds so strange. Can we hear it again one more time, please, Emily? Is that all right? Yep. So what is that sound? Now, um, it is something that makes that sound. If you've ever worked in a warehouse or indeed been past a warehouse, or then you would have heard it. Uh, if you have been to the Royal uh, Royal Mail, the post office, you might hear it at. Would you mm. say? Mm -hmm. um, I can't, there's a couple of words that, I, that I've got to be really careful not to use because it will give it away really, really quickly. So <laughs> it might sound really strange. Um, in a smaller way, you hear this a lot before Christmas. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. In a smaller way, you hear this a lot before Christmas. Uh, but this is a bit bigger. Uh, so what exactly is that sound? Like, share and comment. If you like our, um, our, our shows, please uh, please like our show. It would be wonderful. Um, and share it if you will. That would be fantastic. But what we need to do to, uh, you to do to be able to be in with a chance of winning one of those brilliant festive foliage dies is uh, comment with what your answer is and get it right. Uh, I'm sure people will start to get it right. Yeah. Ah, they're, well, they might be getting it right. I don't know. You know, <laughs> Emily, don't say, yeah, they are. As soon as people start getting it right, you're giving well, it away. There's been several different answers. Right. How can we retract our clues? Um, is there a way to retract our clues? <laughs> can I start pretending it's something different? <laughs> they're all wrong. Yeah. It's all wrong. It's all right. You're all wrong. Oh. No, you're not. <laughs> Some people are beginning to get this right. Uh, very good. Very good. Okay. Guys, we have back in stock one of our best selling products of the year. This went out of stock. It is now back in stock on a limited print run. Uh, it will not be around, the, it won't be re read on next year. It won't be around, 99% sure it won't be read on next year. I'll put a disclaimer in there just in case it will. Uh, I don't think it will. Um, this is our Winter Forest Luxury Topper Collection at 19.99. I do believe the bundle is in stock as well. Uh, so, Winter Topper, uh, Winter Forest, sorry, Winter Topper, uh, Winter Forest Collection was launched. It was one of the earlier launches, I think, when we launched our Christmas back in June. So this will have launched in July and it's absolutely gorgeous. You get an inspiration sheet as you'd expect, but look at the sort of whimsical, uh, wistful, beautiful, uh, 
artwork that's used here and this gorgeous silver foiling that's used all around it. It's soft, isn't it? The colorways mm. are so soft. Yeah, I really like this. It's wintry. Yeah. Um, it looks wintry, but it looks, somehow it's cozy as well as being, yeah. it's strange, isn't it? Yeah, uh, it's so different to like other card kits and it's not like your typical Christmas like no, colors, is it? Not at all, not at all. And the artwork is absolutely yeah. gorgeous. There's, there's a, uh, I think it's one of the real iconic images that's going to come mm. up in a minute uh, that from, from this year that's, that I've seen so many cards. When I, when I look through sort of Pinterest and I see what people, yeah. what cards our customers are making, uh, there's, there's one that's really stood out for me. There's well, two really. There's the, the Christmas Light No Order. That's that we've yeah. seen so many because we know how many have sold. Lots and lots have sold. Uh, but isn't this gorgeous? But it's this image here of the of, of the, the lady, lady. Yeah. has been so so popular, and it is beautiful. It is. It is really lovely. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And we're lucky enough to be able to get a demonstration with this kit today with you, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. So I've shown you one of each sheet there, but you don't get one of each sheet. You get two of each of those sheets in that 1999 kit. There are also inserts available, uh, which are more difficult to see. Not as difficult as our resist and reveal was. <laughs> Uh, but 36 sheets of inserts, and it's a mix of lovely inserts and some soft backgrounds in there as well, including upside down ones like the one I've just shown you. <laughs> but these coordinate perfectly with your with your kit. That's available as well, as is back in stock. No, this one didn't go out of stock. Is the Winter Forest 8x8 paper pad. So uh, this is for people who don't want to get the whole thing, but still want mm. all that gorgeous iconic artwork. I mean, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, and you can make some really good cards like just from that alone can't you isn't that beautiful oh, yeah. the colors in here are fabulous all the artworks in here in this paper pad and you get some decent so you can see that you're going to be able to make you're going to be able to cover yeah. white ink me cards with this and um and just really get really creative look at that isn't it gorgeous you've got the squirrel in there again this lovely frosty sort of effect beautiful isn't it gorgeous yeah i love that Okay, and there's that beautiful, iconic image of the lady. Uh, is she a snow maiden? Uh, is she slightly elfish? I don't know. Yeah. Um, whatever she is, she's beautiful. She's a very attractive lady. <laughs> uh, okay, and let's go over to another very attractive lady, my friend Rachel, and <laughs> see what she's going to do with this lovely collection. Right, so we're going to do a 7x7 seven seven aperture card. So I'm just going to cut down the mats first. So I'm going to cut silver seven by seven and then there's also some matastic that went with the kit i'm not sure if that's still on in stock i'm not sure if that's in stock well um will you be able to see um in the winter forest collection is the matastic that that goes with it still available yep. it is that's good news oh, behind you oh is it oh very oh. good uh, m partner says uh em em partner it says she's made winter birthday cards out oh, of this collection oh that's a really good idea isn't it that's a brilliant idea so i'm just gonna use the foiled cardstock to create this and then i'm going to use the circle topper with the rabbit on and I'm going to take off the outer frame and then we're going to stick that onto the foil card. So we're going to stick it in the middle, move them to one side and I've got some fin tape and I'm going to just use some fin tape to stick this on and then we're going to, then we're going to cut the circle round. Claire Edwards says, oh no, she loves this collection, would love it to keep running. Um, Claire, I can tell you, it's, it's one of, as, our, as almost all of our uh, non-core uh, products, if you will, uh, all of our flagship collections, these are called, um, they, they don't, the, the idea isn't that they carry on running forever because we, we want to bring you different products, if that makes sense. So I know it's absolutely gorgeous, this, but it won't be there next year or the year after or the year after, um, unfortunately. Every now and then we go back to a, a, an old collection and we, and we give it a facelift yeah. or change it or, or bring so it back. So next year might be something like this. But 
different? I think there's, there's a potential that this might make its way into a little book or, yeah. or something along those lines. Oh, that, that would be, be lovely. Nice. But we'll try and bring the artwork back in some format. We will do. Um, it's just that it won't be this, um, this kit, unfortunately. But right. it is available now, so grab it yeah. while you can. So I'm just going to cut around the middle of this. There you go. Right, so now I'm just going to cut away the middle of the different cards here. Then I don't have to carry on cutting the circle aperture out of all of them. Rachel Jacqueline has got eagle eyes. She says, I like the piercing on your arm, Rachel. Oh, thank you. I'd never <laughs> seen it before until she said that. And yeah. I looked over and I thought, has she just got gemstones stuck to her? I don't know. <laughs> What's that? I, I do have that quite often. You do have that quite often where you have random gemstones. You go home and you're just like, oh. what have you done again now? How many, how many have more. you got now? It's like, oh no, this, oh. This, these ones are self adhesive they just come off. No, these ones are stuck in my arm. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, dear. It's amazing what they can do these days. I'm, I'm so naive about things like that. I just don't know, but it's well, amazing. I got them when I was quite young and they said that they'd only last for about a year. And I've had them for about four years have now. You? Yeah. It just carries on. Apart from Theo, um, he's starting to notice them and he tries to pull them. Ah, okay. <laughs> now Theo is your little one. Yes, he is. And how old's Theo? He's uh, 14 months. 14 months. 14 months now. And he's a cute, isn't he? He's a, he's a terror. He's a terror. <laughs> We saw um, we saw our the baby in our family uh, last night oh, for aw. for about five minutes at at the door um, at their aw. house. There's a, M Milo is what is he now? So he was born in uh, December January. So yeah, he's coming up one now, um, and he was he was lovely. It's just lovely to oh, see him. But it's, it, it's cold stood at the doors. Isn't oh it? God, that's yeah, all we can no, do at the it moment, is. Really. I know it's terrible. But I bet he's grown so much since the last time you've seen him. He has, them. he has. Right. It's amazing. When you don't see them that often, yeah. they, they grow so quickly, don't they? It's such a shame. We'd have seen them all the time if it I wasn't know, for, yeah, for you know, everything that's been going on. But it's best to be safe. It is. You are right. We continue to be safe. Right, so I've just cut out the middle parts of that, of them two layers. So then, when I stick this on, I don't have to do any more circle cutting. So this is one of the big crafting secrets is that it doesn't matter what's going on behind. So those, exactly. those weren't perfectly um, straight lines, but it doesn't matter because they're hidden. Right. So now, so we're just going to cut the cut circle from the card blank. That's the only one that I can't really get away with cutting a square. So there's a lot of people saying tape gun and tape dispenser. Um, oh yeah. A packing tape runner or cello tape being pulled from the holder. So there's Ooh. a lot of people saying that. I couldn't possibly comment. I can neither confirm <laughs> nor deny. Mm. Right, so now we're just gonna cut down. So I've also got a sheet from the eight by eight pad. I'm going to cut that down to 7x7 seven seven and stick that inside the card. Okay, Create and Craft had technical issues, but Natalie is now back, supposedly, which is great news. So oh, Natalie goodness. is there on Create and Craft TV with that lovely new collection. Caroline Blair Garrett says, are we getting any packs of the larger foam pads? You are, Caroline. It's just going to be nearer to the end of the month. Uh, there is a promotion coming up. It's called Dynamite Ooh. Deals. Oh, wow. Dynamite Deals. Uh, and I'm sure it'll tie in with um, with the 5th of November. Oh, remember, remember. Oh, so I forgot all about that. That's our marketing team and their clever, their clever <laughs> names they come up with. So we're just going to stick the circle, the inside of the circle topper inside with foam pads. So this is quite clever, just using the inside of that circle to be able to yeah. cut out your own aperture. And if you do it carefully, it will guide you around, won't oh, it? Definitely. It will guide your craft knife and around. Especially if you've got like a sharp enough knife, it, no problem at all. Right, so I'm just going to stick that in. Now I've also got the acetate that went with the kit. 
So I'm going to just cut that down to five and a half times five and a half inches. And then so the gremlins were on Crate and Craft. They, they were here oh, with us for were. a while. They jumped across to Crate and Craft. And as long as they don't come back to us, we'll be okay. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to use some red liner tape. It's Dino on Crate and Craft, isn't it? I just saw Dean there, out the corner of my eye. Oh. We like Dean. Yeah, he's, he's a, a good bloke. He's, he's very funny. Some of the stuff he comes out with, you like, oh. All right. Then. Nigel's a little bit naughty, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Nigel's just Nigel's a little bit naughtier, I think. So then I'm just going to stick this on the inside cover there. So then we get a few snowflakes on the front. And then I'm just going to go back to the top of the set and I'm just going to put a sentiment at the bottom. Okay, so on the inside there, if you wanted to, you could hide that acetate just by cutting out another yeah, piece of, uh, to of white to go on top. Yeah. Or you could put it, if you've, if you've got like um, nesting dies, you could cut the circle out that way and then put the acetate on the back of the frame and then, then you don't see anything. Or the acetate could have gone in between the, yeah. the sheets of the, of the card that, that we put on before as well. It's lovely. Nice. And there you go. Congratulations, Rachel. For <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Honestly, it takes ages to get used to that, and I still get it wrong every single time. Um, okay, guys, thank you so much for spending time with us today. Um, what I'm going to say now is uh, don't forget, make sure, win it weekly. Uh, make sure that you put your name down, your comment down as to what you think that is. We'll repeat it throughout the week and we'll give clues. I'm not 100% sure you need any more clues now. I think you've got a really good grasp as, as to what's going on there. Um, TV schedule. So Natalie is on right now. So when we finish in about a minute, jump across to Create and Craft TV uh, and see what Natalie's got to show you because there's some lovely stuff there and she'll be doing some brilliant demonstrations. Um, so that's on Create and Craft Television. So today as well at 4.30 p.m. with this Everlasting Memories collection, grab it while you can. We're going to add a product to the rollover box and this is interesting because this is like hen's teeth, okay? You, you cannot get hold of this anywhere. This is, I believe, the last pack that is in our building. Okay, so we, it, with the last pack that's in our building, we're not trying to sell it, we're giving it away. Isn't that cool? So we're gonna add this to the rollover box. Uh, this is our Diamond Sparkles Shimmer card, but in that beautiful red. That's gonna go into that rollover box, which is growing and growing and growing, oh, yeah. which is very exciting. Our next Facebook Live show, next Hunky Dory TV show, I should say, join us on Wednesday, 21st of October, this Wednesday at 10 a.m., as we launch that gorgeous Everlasting Memories collection. Uh, and then go and join Nat now, go over to Create and Craft and see what she's up to. Guys, thank you so much for spending the morning with us. It's bye from Emily. It's bye from Emily. <laughs> what do I say now? I feel... and, it's, and it's ta -ta and goodbye from my friend Rachel. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. See you later. Bye now. Bye.